Now it's time to create the steel slanting columns. Go into settings dialog here on column 2. You can see that it's possible here in, in segment. It's possible to get a circular profile, but this time I won't use it because my pillars are tubular steel profiles filled with concrete. So I need to create a custom profile to do what I want. I close, go to options, element attributes, profile manager. Here, click new. I'll type steel column plus concrete diameter 20 centimeters. OK. Using 2D elements, select arc and circle tool. Clicking on origin point, rate is going to be 10. I'll click, create another circle, rate is 9. Using Fill Tool, I'll choose Reinforced Concrete as Fill Pattern. Inside, press Space Bar to use Magic Wand. Click and it fills. Fill Tool again. I will choose now Steel Structure. Magic Wand, pressing Space Bar. I'll click, but now we need to fix this one. I will select the fill and keeping it selected, I'll choose Fill Tool, press Space Bar again to use the Magic Wand, do a click and it makes a hole. So now we have this steel structure fill and this concrete fill. Select the steel fill and here at the right we have this tab component. I will define this element as finish, mark override surfaces, I will override with paint gloss white, show cut end lines I'll put a black line 101 and it's very important to mark which type of element this profile shall be used. Here I'll keep this column, save, close the window and go into ground floor Keep the ground floor DWG reference. On settings dialog, I'll choose here the column two. Settings dialog. On segment, you can choose a complex profile. Here we'll select steel column plus concrete that we've created. Turn off override surfaces on model because you, you want to see the white paint we have chosen in column. I'll change here to define a slanted column with 80 degrees. In my link to the, to the first floor, I'll type an offset of minus 30, considering the slab thickness. So here you see uh, total height as 2 meters and 93. I'll press OK. Click to insert. I'll drag, I'll drag this element, Ctrl D, to place it on, a, on the right position. I'll check on 3D. can see it's all right. In floor plan, I can mirror a copy 
control shift tm selecting two elements i will group the element selecting them in arrange elements bar we have this option group and i will turn off suspend group now you can see this element being selected together Control shift d to drag a copy using structures axis as reference to click So here we have another copy, Control shift d And here I will copy two, but we have a double height, so you can see on 3D we have here two situations. We also have on stairs opening a pillar of double height. So here on floor planning section, I will change to home and one story up, the representation on 2D and I'll link height on settings dialog, I'll link to roof and put minus 20 because the roof sled has 20 centimeters. OK, and now you see this double height columns. Now to finish structure on first floor. I will invert the slanted columns, selecting the columns on ground floor. Control C to copy, go into first floor, Control V to paste. So you can see here on 3D, I will invert the slanting columns. So here I will click ungroup, erase one, press delete, and now I will rotate this column, Ctrl E. In the middle of the reference line, I find a mark. Here is the first click, and the second click align with blue line. Then I can rotate 180 degrees. I can mirror a copy, Control Shift M. And here I can see on 3D to check the result. And I will group these elements. And now is just to draw copies pressing Ctrl Shift D.